Hi folks, hope you are keeping well. It's uh, It's been a busy morning. I'm full of coffee, so right now I'd uh, like to talk to you about uh, back garden or back land developments. So first off, what is a back garden development? Well, I'm not talking shed or uh, garden buildings. Um, a back garden development is where we see a new single dwelling house or maybe even two or three houses um, being built in a long existing back garden, either a single one or a number of back gardens. And sometimes these projects are undertaken with neighbours to increase the development area um, or for access arrangements. And there are a couple of approaches that you you can take here. One is to look at uh, selling off land as it stands. Uh, this is where, say, your 200 foot rear garden is reduced by 50% to 100 foot and you just sell that off. Um, the other, and this is certainly the more profitable approach, is to sell the land with outline planning consent to a developer. Um, but before you go racing into things, check local planning policy guidance or even consider a pre-application uh, to your local authority. You can pay like 50 quid and get advice on that. Um, you see, generally, infill development is viewed favourably, but a lot will depend on on the individual development and its kind of scale and mass. Um, councils like to ensure garden developments are in keeping with their surroundings, so generally one to one and a half storey developments are favoured. Uh, don't forget to consider privacy, um, outlook and uh, overshadowing, um, which I don't know about you, but for me seems to end in year-long battles. The great news is, though, that all this can be done through good design. And one thing is for sure, if there are trees on or adjacent to your site, then you're definitely going to need a tree survey. Um, and in my experience, I'd have you consider that getting that out of the way early on is definitely the smart move. You see, trees can figure very well in back garden developments as they provide screening, improve privacy, uh, and when designed well, will really add value to the location. Um, and when the rubber hits the road, once you know what the ecological and tree constraints are, you can plan a sympathetic layout, increasing your chances of gaining that planning approval. Uh, the final points for you to consider are safe access and local politics. Um, if there are any trees obscuring the legally required visibility displays, can they be removed? And with local politics at play, you can be sure that the objections will come thick and fast from all directions, with trees often being used as an overlooked criticism on new schemes. I see this all the time. So if you don't want to be accused of back garden grabbing, then I urge you to get in contact and consider the tree issues early on in your project because with trees it really is the case that the bigger they are the larger the problem.